He is meant to tell the story of how Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, how we as people came from the very worst to see the very best. It is just as relevant today as it's ever been. And while many of us lived the Oklahoma City bombing, uh, many more of us did not. When I met my wife in Stillwater and we got married and my mom wasn't there, that was like a big, oh my goodness. I actually teach in the classroom across the hall from where I was in sixth grade when the bombing happened. It's such a thread of our community that I think especially when you look at teaching youth who are gonna grow up in Oklahoma and say, I am from Oklahoma, this is part of our history. And so to be able to come here and tie that together, you know, helping your community, uh, even in the worst of the days. I'm a person that leans into difficult conversations. So, and I like to have my students lean into different difficult conversations, because um, that's how you learn from others. Um, I always say, if you don't have friends that don't think like you, then you never grow. You'll just only think like the people that are around you. And I never in my wildest dreams did I think nine days in, I would be telling the uh, biggest story of my lifetime. I think you guys are doing uh, so much, such a bigger impact than I probably anticipated coming here. When I came here many years ago, um, I really, it was very emotional. It's okay to, to be upset. It's okay to have bad days. A lot of the kids that we teach don't have any reference of this place and what's here. You know, our kids need to see um, things that happen and, you know, how people come together and especially now in our society when people are bickering and arguing over things, um, they need to see that it's not always like that. People are willing to help each other if you just listen.